15. The Devil We have all been guilty of chasing pretty, sparkly things. We have all spent time desiring and plotting how to get our hands on the latest and greatest shiny thing. We have all allowed our desire to trap us and make us prisoners of consumerism. Things are seductive. Having things makes us feel useful, needed, and part of the material world that we live in. Even the mermaids are guilty of chasing things they could really live without and don't really have use for. And every so often, one of them finds their way into a real trap. Taking a closer look, you will see that like most traps of desire, there is no lock. The mermaid can leave anytime she wants, yet she is still staring at the treasures in front of her as if dazed and held captive by nothing more than her unchecked need. Upright. The devil always leaves the door open, the locks unlocked, and the exit clearly marked. Yet surprisingly, many people never seem to make their way out of the desire den. It is pretty spectacular. You can have whatever you want, whenever you want, and no one is ever going to judge you. It's almost as if you are amongst friends. All the while, the devil simply holds the space for you to explore all of your desires. He doesn't judge. He doesn't humiliate. He doesn't really do anything. He leaves all of the actions to you. So what will you do? Be like the mermaid and continue being trapped or Open the door and move on to other things away from all that glitters, sparkles, and calls your name seductively. Reversed. At some point, the mermaid will have to make her way out of that trap. She can't stay there, and whoever laid the trap for her knows she won't survive in it. Hence, why it is not locked. She will eventually come to her senses and realize that her life is more important than the things she has chased onto the beach. Her mind will clear and she will make her way back to the sea. You too have had a moment of clarity and although it isn't easy to say goodbye to something or someone you have pined after, you know that it is the best thing that you could ever do for your soul.